so buoyed with the excitement of the fact that these wings work very well but they are very thick I have decided just to quickly cut myself another section in some very cheap foam these won't be the best foam cutting you've ever seen in your life but I just want to explore the possibilities of basically reducing the cord by nearly six millimeters where I failed to remember that the sheeting was going to make put six millimeters on the cord so I'm just going to knock these up just to see what it flies like there we go say so, this is this is not going to be award winning foam cutting but it's literally a proof of concept oh there you go I'll be happy with that yeah, that'll do. Right, so. So I'm really pleased with how both those wing sections have uh, worked. I'm not sure I really saw a lot of difference in them. Um, so I, in my mind, what is niggling me is the fact that um, I put the three mil sheet on top and on bottom so that's added six mil to the section it's quite a thick section and you'll notice a lot of the time it runs out of energy when it's doing the roll so what I was really looking for is something that yeah if I'm in a, in a decent breeze that it's it's virtually hovering and it seemed to be losing its energy just a little bit just my thoughts um, if you've got any other comments having seen the video which I'll put a link just make a little note so what I've very quickly and I must repeat this is very quickly um, I've just done a quick foam wing which I cut with um, it's just some cheap just some cheap insulation foam which I've been using in the cabin but um, so I've done it to the actual profile, so I've virtually re reduced the cord by about sort of six mil all the way over. Um, I've done exactly the same dimensions. I've only done the one in this shape at the moment. Uh, what I want to do is just see how that penetrates. Um, I've and literally all it is is that foam. I sprayed it with 3M, and then I've just covered it in clear tape from anyone in the UK a little do this packing tape this clear packing tape uh, really good for little fun projects that's stuck really well I'm just going to put the um, control horns on put the push rods on and then uh, we'll take it out for a fly and we'll see what we think um, so then if I'm happy with that the next step is Blake you need a bigger rudder we're blatantly going to start having to look at doing the, the um, flip mad stab and also look at the shape of the fuselage so next step is I just want to have a little look if this wing section works I might ask Andy to knock out some balsa ribs for me and we'll have a go at making it sort of pug style um, in you know obviously carbon spar um, but the other thing is what we want to test is robustness because if you want to do what I call dicking around on the dunes you're going to want to do something that's uh, robust so we're going to get to a stage where we're going to go do we do the wing EPP or do we do the wing built up um, but that's to come so let me finish this and let's go and have a fly Okay, roll with the medium rate. Nice. Right, now switch to high rates. Nice. 